hello guys it's Casey from Casey designs and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, create this so this logo online so I felt okay let me create this um, logo for you guys on Adobe Illustrator so um, first thing I'm going to do is to open Illustrator new file and I'm going to be using a 2000 by 2000 pixel document for this design so it's one meant to load okay so i have something there already so i'll just click on create so the next thing i'm going to do is to kind of bring in my image into illustrator so drag in and drop my image so it's there that's fine now kind of increase the size just a little bit like so cool so i'm going to close this so the first thing i'm going to be doing is to um let me drag this drag this way up this way up also so to find your layers and pathfinder you have to go all the way to um, windows and then you can find whatever you need here from the windows panel Windows menu here, okay. So I'm going to start by going to rectangle and then just tap on my screen, okay. And that's way too small. Ctrl Z, my screen is something around 1000 by 1000. Enter on the keyboard, cool. So I'm going to go to my stroke and apply none for the color. I'm going to come up here and choose a color, it's something like this. Click out, go to my move tool, select this shape, drag it up here, hold my shift and alt to resize this square. Okay. Maybe I resize a bit more, like so. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is to um, maybe I should take it down a bit more. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is to come out here. Okay. Maybe I'll leave this as it is. I'll go to my direct selection tool. First of all, let me bring out my ruler. So, Ctrl R to bring out the ruler. So, drag this down like so. Like so. So, I'm going to my um, direct selection tool. Select, drag the selection around that point. And then drag this out. Holding down Shift. Drag that out. Holding down Shift. That's fine. So the next thing I'm going to do is to duplicate this shape. So click on this shape, right click, go to transform, reflect, preview. Okay, I want it that way. Then I'm going to click on copy. So now it's, I have a copy of this down here. So I'll just drag this down, holding down shift to drag down. So right click again, rotate, reflect, rather. So I'm going to choose horizontal this time around. That's cool. Then I don't need a copy of it, I just need to click OK. Then kind of drag this until it snaps right about there. So that's cool. So I have that now. So the next thing I'm going to do is to um, come up here to rectangle tool and kind of draw, kind of draw a rectangle somewhere around here like so. Okay, that's fine. Then change the color up, change the color. Okay, click out. Then I want to create a point right about here. So I'll go to my pen tool, open up my pen tool, 
click on add anchor points and just click around yeah, around here yeah, okay go to my desk selection tool select this point delete select this point also and it delete okay control z let this point also and it deletes okay seems to be having an issue there maybe i'll do something different instead let me zoom in zoom in like so then i want to send this shape to the back arrange send to back okay click on this put my dress selection to first of all i want to drag this down like so so there's something around here that's fine then click on this go to my dress selection to select this point no first of all name select this point and drag that in and select this point and drag this all the way up up in here like so so cool so control z to zoom out so now I have a similar shape maybe i just pull this down a bit more like so click on this maybe kind of increase make it longer like so push that in more okay so that's fine okay so maybe i just go to my legislation to again and kind of select this and kind of pull this to the side a bit more like so so now i'm i'm done i'm done with um creating the main shape so the next thing i'm going to be doing is to um, give them the individual colors so go space bar to kind of move this come around let's drag this down so to add the colors i'm going to go all the way to rectangle draw a rectangle like so go back to my selection to hold and alt to make a copy of this holding down shift to move this holding down alt again holding down shift so it, it moves in one is constrained to one axis select this double click go to my hydro okay no not here go to my dropper to pick this color click on my selection tool click the next shape to my eyedropper and pick this color then i'll pick go back to my selection to select this shape gradients click on this <coughs> double click to copy the x code copy <coughs> go to my gradients okay double click on this black go to the menu rgb paste enter click on this double click on this select this copy with my gradients double click in here change this to rgb select the color and paste the x code cool so now select this shape go to my eyedropper tool and select this color so it's, that is there now so i'm going to select these shapes drag this up hold and alt and make a copy of it downwards and repeat the same process for the second color here yeah? so i'll select this first one go to my eyedropper tool pick this color Selection tool, select this shape, eyedropper tool, pick this color here, with my selection tool, select this shape, 
is, it, is having a gradient already so select this double click copy the x code click ok go back to my gradient here double click and paste my x code select this shape double click copy the x code select this double click in here and paste the x code then select this shape go to my eyedropper and select this gradient cool maybe i just kind of pull this more out like so so that's fine so for this shape down here i'll just select that shape go to my eyedropper i'm gonna pick this color for it but i feel it has a gradient to it so let me kind of introduce a gradient um maybe i'll just leave that as it is that's fine Maybe I'll copy the Xcode. Copy. Click OK. Select this. Add the gradients. Double click on this. No, double click on this. Paste gradients in here. And change the angle to uh, 90. And double click in here paste the same x code enter then double click in here and kind of change this want to make this a little bit brighter that's way too bright yeah something that should work that's cool so next thing i'm going to do is go back to go to photoshop open photoshop file new I use the same 2000 by 2000 document for this. 2000 by 2000. So I'm going to be doing the entire mock up on Photoshop. So 2000 by 2000. I have one here custom ready. So I can just copy this also. Create. Okay. Unlock my background. And drag in my image to Photoshop. Gonna close this, enter, click on my background, go to FX, color overlay, select this color now. I can pick from the image this color, cool, okay, okay. Select this logo, kind of drag this all the way up here. Then I want to draw a rectangle, so a square. Tap on the screen, maybe 1000 by 1000. Enter on the keyboard. It's my move to drag this to the center. Control T to resize this, like so. Enter. Then I want to round the corner, so I'm going to be using um, 100. That's cool. Then close this. Go to my FX gradient overlay. So I want to pick the colors directly from the back of from the image. So click in here. Click up here. Click. Drag this by the side to see the image. Pick this. Click OK. Select this. Close by the side. And pick this bottom part here. Okay. Click OK. Then I need to change the angle a bit. Maybe around here. Like so. That's cool. So click OK. I make another copy of this. Control J to make a copy of this. Drag this down. Like so. Double click on the FX. 
go to my gradient overlay open this black to white so for double click on this for the black i'm going to be choosing this color up here click ok for the white select this color down here click ok click ok kind of change the angle like so just somewhere around here should work go back to my gradients oh, cancel go to my gradients kind of drag this out a bit more like so go here and kind of kind of blend this in okay click okay click okay go back to illustrator select this three drag it into photoshop drop this in here so i'm dropping my logo in here click enter drag this on top ctrl t to resize Place it in the center of my. I click OK. Maybe I resize this a bit, a bit more, just a little bit more. OK. It's there now. So for the back shape, Control T. Kind of rotate this like so. Enter. Select the three of them. Control T kind of rotate this like so ctrl c again to so kind of increase the size want it to be a little bit bigger enter kind of position this that's way too big ctrl c to the size Click enter so turn this image off so now you have our logo in here so thank you guys for watching and then i'll see you in the next lesson and also, please do make sure you like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. So you can get more of these um, videos. So for Photoshop and Illustrator. And also I'm making one for 3D soon. So bye and see you guys in the next lesson.